What's up guys, it's Christian back at you with another Thursday video. So today we're gonna to be talking about top ten great lakes facts. So coming in number ten, Lake Superior is the largest. Lake Superior is 160 miles and an average depth of nearly 500 feet, with a maximum depth of 1,332 miles, more than enough to fill all the other lakes combined. Coming in number 9, Lake Superior is a shipwreck graveyard. The dangerous stretch of water on southern Lake Superior between Munising, Michigan and Whitefish Point has been called the Graveyard of the Great Lakes and Shipwreck Coast. As hundreds of ships have been lost in the area, it's estimated that nearly 6,000 ships have sunk in the Great Lakes with a loss of about 30,000 lives. Coming in at number 8, Dr. Seuss. In a publication of Dr. Seuss's The Lorax contained the line, I hear things are just as bad up in Lake Erie. 14 years later, the Ohio Water Sanitation Center replied back to them saying that the waters were clean and safe again. So, Dr. Seuss removed that line from his book. Coming in number seven, prehistoric people. Below Lake Huron, there are a 9,000 year old animal herding structure used by prehistoric people from when the water levels were significantly lower. 9,000 years ago, water levels in Lake Huron were about 250 feet lower than they are today. The shallower lake exposed a hilly ridge where ancient Native Americans hunted caribou. So coming in number six, the temperature. The entire Great Lakes average surface temperature is about 67.8 degrees. A water temperature below 77 degrees can lead to hypothermia. Because the waters of the Great Lakes are so cold, most shipwrecks have been almost perfectly preserved, including some of the bodies on those ships. Coming in number 5, largest body of fresh water on Earth. When combined, the Great Lakes equal one-fifth of the planet's total fresh water supply. Coming in number four, the distance of all five lakes. A drive completely around all five lakes would take 6,500 miles or 108 hours, and there are official circle tours you can book and complete in four and a half days. Coming in number three, how much water? If you were able to remove all the water from the Great Lakes and spread it evenly across the United States, the entire country would be covered in about 10 feet of water. Coming in number two, the Bermuda Triangle. Rumor has it that Lake Michigan has its own Erie Triangle with a, with a similar reputation as the Bermuda Triangle. The Lake Michigan Triangle has been known for many strange accounts. This, tri this triangle stretches from Ludington to, ben to, to Benton Harbor and has said to be responsible for many disappearances and mysterious occurrences in history. One of the most mysterious cases over Lake Michigan happened in 1950 when Northwest Airlines Flight 2501, which was carrying 58 people, crashed into Lake Michigan. Coming in at number one, Lake Michigan Stonehenge. In 2007, while searching for the remains of sunken ships, scientists discovered a stone structure at a depth of 12 meters in Lake Michigan. They believe that this building, similar to Stonehenge, is about 9,000 years old. But interestingly, one of the stones has a carving in the form of a mastodon, which died out more than 10,000 years ago. The exact coordinates of the find are still kept a secret. So that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. Other than that, be kind, be weird, but give somebody a hug today.